गुड आफ्टरनून ऑल ऑफ यू वी विल स्टार्ट विथ अ न्यू चैप्टर इन इंग्लिश लिटरेचर द बॉन्ड ऑफ लव चैप्टर नंबर नाइन फ्रॉम योर बुक बी हाइव द बॉन्ड ऑफ लव पेज नंबर हंड्रेड एंड थर्टीन गॉट इट Yes, ma'am. Okay. So it is written by Kenneth Anderson. Now, uh, Kenneth Anderson was an Indian-born but British writer, and he was also a hunter. And he wrote books about uh, his adventures in the jungles of South India. So Kenneth Anderson, Indian-born British writer and hunter, and he wrote about his adventures. in the jungles of south india and uh, he belonged to a scottish family those who settled in india for six generations and uh, then uh, uh, this bond of love now in this particular uh, chapter you know this is a story of a of an emotional bonding bonding between a woman and a bear so in this particular chapter we will study about this bond of love between an animal and a human being and here it is a woman and a bear and uh, now the author he once uh, found an orphan sloth bear and presented it to his wife and uh, you know after that uh, uh, the animal the sloth bear and the wife you know they had such a good relationship between them and uh, so basically in this story uh, kenneth anderson he shows that there could be a bond of love and friendship between um, between man and animal means it is possible to have a bond of friendship and love between man and animal and it is a story of deep bond of love between the author's family and their pet sloth bear which was named bruno by his wife all right sloth bear what is a sloth bear hmm yes class 9 yes ma'am yes have you been to the zoo yes ma'am have you seen yes ma'am sloth bear there no ma'am ma black bear ma'am grizzly bear we have seen not bear <laughs> bear all right sloth why is he called sloth bear because you know he is very lazy type he doesn't move around a lot not very agile okay 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 now uh, before we read the chapter they saying that what do you think can there be love and friendship between uh, human beings and wild animals and uh, so to answer that uh, here is a fascinating account of an orphaned sloth bear that was rescued by the author and uh, a little bit about sloth bears now they inhabit obviously they live in forest and including the tropical rain forests of india and also grasslands at lower elevations so normally where do sloth bear uh, we can find sloth bear uh, tropical rain forests and Uh, grasslands at a little elevation okay then uh, sloth bear they have shaggy hair as you can see in the picture there long muzzles using their claws so they use see his claws claws to dig and uh, they can use their lips to form a tube which can go deep into the ground or into hard to reach areas like the dead trees for their food and uh, the main food of sloth bear is termites and uh, you can hear them suck up their food from several feet away so little bit of information about a sloth bear okay so during the course of this chapter we will see that <clears throat> whether <clears throat> there could be any bond of love or friendship between animals and humans or not okay so who will read mam yeah yes rishti I will begin with Bruno my wife's pet sloth bear 
I got him for her by accident. Two years ago, we were passing through the sugar cane fields near my school. People were driving away the wild pig pigs from the fields by shooting at them. Some were shot and some escaped. We thought that everything was over when suddenly a black sloth bear came out, panting in the hot sun. Okay, so the author he says that and now he has to tell. It. Uh, that whether you know uh, there could be a relationship uh, a friendly relationship between humans and uh, wild animals and so uh, he says that i will begin this uh, account uh, with bruno and who was bruno his wife's pet sloth bear and then he says that uh, now he tells that how he got bruno for his wife and so he tells that you know two years ago the author and his friends they were passing through uh, the sugar cane fields near Mysore so they were near my for and Mysore and they were going through these uh, sugar cane fields and uh, you know there were wild pigs uh, in the fields and so the people they were driving away these wild pigs from the fields so either you know uh, so they were by, uh, they were driving them away by uh, shooting at them and uh, as a result obviously because they were shooting at them some got shot and some escaped and uh, the author and his friends they thought that uh, it was now all over the wild pigs either they had been dead or they had uh, escaped and uh, but all of a sudden a black sloth bear he came out panting so he was panting breathing heavily and he came out in the hot sun yes continue now I will not show the sloth bear wantonly, but unfortunately for the poor beast, one of my companions did not feel the, that way about it and promptly shot the bear on the spot. Right. As we walk Okay, okay, wait. So, uh, you know, uh, they thought that everything was over, the wild pigs have been driven away, but all of a sudden they find a, a, a black sloth bear out on the fields. And so the author goes on to say that obviously I will not shoot a sloth bear wantonly wanton means for no good reason without any reason obviously i will not shoot a sloth bear uh, but he says but unfortunately for the bear what happened one of uh, the companions of the author he did not feel the same way as the author and so and promptly so one of his companions he very quickly he shot the bear on the spot so uh, the author said obviously he would never do that without any reason obviously he will never kill a sloth bear but one of his friends he did not think that and obviously it was unfortunate for the beast why because he quickly shot the animal on the spot yes uh, who will read now Sankara? yes as we watched the fallen animal he was surprised to see that the black fur on its back moved and left the prostate body. Then we saw it was a baby bear baby bear that had been riding on her mother's back when sudden shot had killed her. The little creature ran around its prostate parent, making a pitiful noise. Okay. So uh the author he goes on to tell narrate the story and says that you know uh one of his companions he shot the bear and uh, so because he was shot on the spot so you know shot and swan means he was killed on the spot and so they as soon as he was shot uh, obviously he fell down on the uh, ground and they were surprised you know to see that they saw that uh, black fur which was on the back it was a black uh, sloth bear so uh, it appeared to them that the black fur on the back of the bear's body it moved and it left the prostrate body prostrate means uh, the body of the bed it was lying on the ground facing downwards so in that manner so he says that uh, he says that you know they saw that the black fur on the body of the sloth bear uh, it moved uh, away from the body and then you know they saw and realized that it had been a baby bear which had been riding on the mother's back obviously they did not see it that uh, there was also a small baby bear on the mother's back they shot the mother the mother fell down dead and uh, now this little creature now it was uh, you know it was running around its uh, 
its mother making a pitiful noise the mother was dead now it is uh, the bear is the baby bear obviously we are calling it baby so obviously we know it was a very small bear because it was riding on the back of its mother so obviously it was still a very uh, small uh, baby and uh, now you know the mother was dead the mother body was there on the ground and so the baby it was moving around the mother's body making pitiful means crying sounds yes i ran up to the to attempt a capture it squirted into the sugarcane tree following it with my companions i was at last able to grab it by the scruff on its neck while it snapped and tried to scratch me with its long hooked claws all right so the uh, author writer he ran to it to capture it all right uh, but the bear it scooted into the sugarcane field means it uh, the bear it ran away in the sugarcane field and so the author and his companions you know they followed him uh, to the sugarcane field and at last the author was able to get it by the scruff of its neck means by the back of its neck so from here you know the author he was able to finally catch the baby bear from the back of its neck and the baby you know the baby bear he tried uh, it snapped and it tried to scratch the author with his long hooked claws and if you see on the on this first page of the chapter page uh, 113 that uh, the claws see the claws of the mother bear they are Uh, strong and hooked, all right, and uh, hooked claws, and so the baby also had the uh, same hooked claws, and so it was trying to scratch the writer with those claws. Okay, yes, continue. We put we put it in one of the gunny bags we had brought, and when I got back to Bangalore, I duly presented it to my wife. She was delighted. She at once put a coloured ribbon around its neck. and after is covering the cup was a boy she christened it bruno okay so uh, what did they do with the baby bear we they put it in one of the gunny bags what are gunny bags mam wo jo bori hoti mam all right okay so they put it in one of the gunny bags uh, which they had brought and uh, you know when uh, the writer he got back home to bangalore he presented that bear cup to his wife and the wife she was delighted she was so happy and so at once what she did she put a colored ribbon around its neck and after later on when she found out that the cup was a boy so she christened him means she gave him the name bruno okay now who will read mamma okay yashmin bruno soon took to drinking milk from a bottle it was but a step further and within a very few days he started eating and drinking everything else and everything is the right word for he ate porridge made from any ingredients vegetables fruit nuts meat especially pork you know, curry and rice regardless of condiments and chilies bread eggs chocolates sweets pudding ice cream etc 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 as for drink milk tea coffee lime juice aerated water butter milk beer alcohol liquor and in fact anything liquid it all went down with relish okay so uh now you know it was a very small bear and so bruno he soon started to drink milk from the bottle and uh, it was it was but a step further and within a few days and you know uh, from uh, drinking milk from the bottle in a in a matter of few days he started and drinking everything else and uh, when they saying that and everything is the right word because let's see what all he ate he ate porridge which was made from any ingredient you make porridge from any ingredient whether it was vegetable fruit nuts meat and especially meat uh, uh, in meat he he liked pork then uh, curry and rice regardless even curry and rice he ate regardless of uh, condiments and chilies means though there were spices in uh, curry and uh, chili also but still you know he ate that also and uh, uh, see bread egg chocolate sweet pudding ice cream and then etc and etc etc means anything and everything he ate and then as for drinks 
whether it was milk tea coffee lime juice aerated water what is aerated water what is aerated cold water? drinks huh? cold drinks all right or uh, you know water in which uh, we add air like obviously co2 okay so and uh, buttermilk even beer even beer he had alcoholic liquor yeah, yeah, yeah. liquor also and means in fact anything liquid he used to gulp it down with relish with so much enjoyment he used to have anything liquid whether it was beer or it was it, it was liquor okay yes continue the bear became very attached to our two alsatian dogs and to all the children of the tenants living in a bungalow he was left quite free in his younger days and spent his time in playing running into kitchen and going to sleep in our beds all right so the bear he became very attached to our two alsatian they had two alsatian dogs alsatian is a breed uh, quite like a uh, very similar to german shepherd and so they had two german uh, two alsatian dogs and the and the bear he became very attached to those two dogs also and also to all the children of the tenants who were living in a bungalow so there were many tenants who were living in the writer's bungalow and so the bear he became very attached to all the children of the tenants also and uh, while in his younger years because till the time he was very small so he was left to you know left free to play and so he spent his days his he spent uh, his time in playing and running into the kitchen and even going to sleep on their beds okay so that is all the time we have for today have you understood what we have done today is it clear to all of you is it clear to all of you yes yes ma'am all right ma'am